You know, many times I get this question, which is very interesting, which is, sir, promoter, can you tell me what exactly a software tester do, right? As a fresher, even as a manual tester, right? We are not confident what exactly we do, right? In this video, I'm going to talk about what exactly I do as a software tester, right? When I have started, right? What exactly are the steps which are important? What are the different expectations from you when you join any new company, right? For example, if you're joining as a software QA into a new company, or probably you have some experience like three years, four years, right? What are the different expectations from you? In this video, we are going to target, right? As a manual tester even if you don't have a clue right this is exactly the video that you needed if you are already an automation tester i think you should know these important concepts right so it, this video is actually applicable for everyone you can watch this video in 1.5x let's get started and let's discuss what are the different things a software tester exactly do and some of the tips my 11 tips right that will help you to succeed in software testing career all right let's get started okay uh bonus first of all let's interview important interview question also right uh, manual real time scenarios for important templates what you will get so you will get this okay let's discuss first of all important thing first of all analyzing the requirement see as a software tester first thing you have to do is analyzing the requirement right now i'm going to talk about what are the things that i do i generally prepare a high level checklist by using mind map let me tell you a really interesting thing okay so when i was in wingify right uh, there was a product which is vwo that was given to me to test it out right the multiple set testers were there right so suppose if there is a new feature which is coming for example the editor editor was coming right in that one we have to basically test it out first of all we have to test it manually right so manually we have to test so first of all we need to understand the requirement properly right what are the different features which are new coming right for example there was a feature related to edit element changing a style of an element right it's a kind of a web element editor right so inception right so analyzing the requirement is a super important then we have to plan so generally i prepare a test plans you can download a template also which is sj.live slash test plan here it's a test plan not palm uh, you will see that so that's very important so analyzing planning part and designing test cases then only we will start the test case designing see many of you are making mistake which is directly jumping into the test cases don't do that don't do that don't directly create your test cases first of all analyze and plan create your test strategy what you are going to do exactly before even creating test cases right i create a checklist as well as a test scenarios list of test scenarios into a simple excel file list of test scenarios okay i will check login i will check dashboard i will check create ab all these things into a simple checklist simple checklist i have mentioned this multiple multiple time you can find this into this link also which is sd.live slash tc hyphen template where i have written a specific scenarios what exactly i'm going to test in the vw application right so those things are super super important so make sure you're not making those mistakes please don't directly jump into the test cases analyze and plan first then only jump to the test cases so after you have created uh, the test cases right i generally recommend your test cases to be very precise and very short generally what people do is that they write a very huge steps to execute this i generally don't recommend i basically tell them that okay it should be a very to the point and very crips okay for example open vw.com enter this basically click on this three steps easily anyone can understand right even freshers i have given my test cases to freshers also and they are able to understand this right it means simple simplicity in test cases is actually what it is needed right don't make it too over complicated i have seen freshers or many many people writing test cases where they are just mentioning okay open up computer right and open up a chrome browser those the details actually you can write it down into a prerequisite only one time right that's what i generally recommend okay after that we execute test cases right so make sure whenever you are executing your test cases pay attention that your environment branches are proper because many times we have made this mistake where we started testing but properly deployment was not done build was not ready to be tested so make sure you do a smoke test and after that you start your normal testing that you are basically doing right so make sure you check it out those things after that we generally document everything a document basically what i generally do is that i'll note it down every test case into a mind map into a list of items you can put them into a mind map or excel right where i just noted down my bugs for example login with this is giving error login with this uh, if i cancel this is giving error logo is not visible one liners only one liners only one liners generally i write it out i uh, it's very similar to exploratory testing where i am also exploring the application i am also learning about the application right here while executing the test cases so this is what uh, we generally do and after that all the bugs that are basically found right I generally convert them into a proper bug report. So bug report template is also available as the dot live slash bug report. I think you will be able to find that here that you can include 
that please write proper test cases proper bug report also that's a super important thing right so generally these things we have to do then we have to verify the fixes if fixes are done by the developer we have to communicate them we have to follow with them right generally qas are too shy they don't follow up right i have seen multiple my peers right they just basically write the bugs okay this is these are the 10 bugs which are open and they don't follow up please follow up to follow up is a super important thing that you have to do it's it's my responsibility that we have to follow up right as well as while understanding the requirement if you have any question ask directly if you have some suggestion suggest them okay i think this will not work please can we consider this this is these are the feedback from my end because i have done these kind of project in my past please consider this scenarios right so if you have some suggestions discuss with your designer team developers you can suggest them of course you can suggest them right if you have a bugs make sure whenever you are putting those bugs into the system please follow up with the bugs because what will happen is you have a limited time right after limited time you will not get enough time to test them right or retest them so pay attention to your times also right uh, generally what i do is participate in code reviews also right there are multiple prs which are basically code reviews are happening right why what is the reason for this is reason is very simple whenever i was part of the prs right i used to do that now i don't do it but when when you are part of that peer reviews other thing right you will understand what exactly is the core logic behind the scene what exactly they are doing right it's a good practice again uh, not for everyone but if you are if you can understand code go ahead perform the exploratory testing that i have told you right document the testing activity make sure you maintain every record make sure you have proper test cases test plan test document defect reports test closure reports uh, whatever the things that you are doing please update your managers that's a super important don't be shy on this update your managers regularly that okay these are the bugs open these are the things open escalate whenever it is needed people forget to escalate they think 7 days we have a 7 day time right on fifth day i will basically report them or follow no don't do that that's not the thing another thing is very very important sometimes you add a bug right it is not getting accepted so make sure you include some third party person you can include scrum master your leads or someone someone who has created the requirement right that okay yes this is a bug please assign a proper priority and if you want to fix it into a next release go ahead right that's what you can do so these are the things generally software tester do as a fresher i hope now you have an idea overall if you see right this is very similar to a stlc life cycle which is software testing life cycle right where what we have to do is analyze plan creating test cases running test cases and uh, reporting bugs and exploratory testing also needed and test closure that's the overall thing that generally software tester do so now you as a fresher as well as manual tester you have an idea you have a template already available right you can download them i will put a link in the into the description also right i hope this was helpful guys uh, one important announcement uh, so we are starting out a manual testing batch also february edition right you can part of it if you want to become a part of it if you want to learn in depth manual testing and as well as the api testing right with four live projects i generally do live projects if you are want to part of it i would highly recommend to join link in the description there is a liberal discount going on i will see you in the live classes bye bye